Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How are you? Thank Fine, thanks. Excellent. Nice. Okay, so good evening, everyone. Today we're going to be working on special occasions. We're going to be discussing time relations. This is class six. Today is June the 7th, 2022. Okay, let's begin. In the agenda tonight, we have relative clauses of time, wedding day, stress and rhythm, and adverb clauses. The objectives to discuss time relationships and definitions and to discuss weddings. Okay, so basically these are the things that we're going to be discussing. Okay, to start, tell your partner about the last party you attended. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Cecilia, Amanda. Okay. Okay, maybe you want to ask and answer the questions. Maybe you would like to ask and answer the questions that appear here. When was the last time you attended a party? What kind of party is, was it? What kind of music did they play? What kind of food did they serve? What activities were there? How many people were there? What time did the party start? What time did it end? Maybe you would like to take turns asking and answering the questions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I may I start? Please. Yes. To Amanda. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Oh, Amanda. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> well, Good what's evening. the last? Okay. When was the last time you attended a party? Um, the last time is um, the last week. I I was in a um, birthday. Um, and I am the birthday is uh, my boss wife. Okay, what kind of party was it? Birthday it was it was it was very nice because um, we had we had a lot of food and delicious and we play some games too or dynamics it's, it was nice it was nice really nice 
Okay, what kind of food did you they service? Um, it, it was a uh, breakfast and I, <laughs> I, um, this? I, I ate a typical, typical breakfast, Salvadorian food, uh -huh, typical. Okay. Um, being say a fry, egg, scramble eggs, um, yes, tamales, pupusas. <laughs> yes. And what activities were there? Um, we, we were, uh, we played, um, Interest game that uh, ruleta rusa, no sé cómo se dice, for, para rifar regalos, no sé cómo se dice. Uh -huh. Ruleta <laughs> rusa, I understand that this is the one that has the gun and has only one bullet, and you play like this. So you no, turn. no, it's a, a ruleta rusa digital <laughs> ah, okay. with the name of the, um, the guest. Yeah, because I said, wow, okay, don't invite me to that party. <laughs> Went to play ruleta rusa, no thanks, I said. No, <laughs> no it's ruleta rusa digital for games. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay, and yes. you, were spinning, you were spinning a wheel, okay? You had a spinner, so spinning wheel, and then, so you were raffling, Raffling the games with a spinning wheel. Okay, that's okay. Um, what time did the party start? What kind of did the, the party start? Start. I don't understand what. What, what time did the party start? Ah, okay. It was in the morning around. Uh, 7 p 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what time did it end? Mm, it was uh, around two hours and end at night a.m. Night okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> well, <okay. laughs> All right. Now then, there are more people here. Okay, with us, uh, but this one, we're going to finish it here so that we move to the next activity, okay? Because we have a lot to do. Okay, so thank you for participating, okay? Ceci and Amanda, let's move to the next topic. We have relative clauses of time, relative clauses of time. The, pur the purpose is to discuss celebrations going to be discussing celebrations like Thanksgiving is a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. They celebrate more than that, but okay. February 14th is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. New Year's, New Year's at night when I have fun with my friends. Okay. The first activity that you're going to do is you're going to match. You're going to connect these sentences and you're going to say how they are connected. This is the first activity. Second activity is this one, similar. You're going to be connecting this, the halves, okay? And uh, when you finish, we're going to be discussing them together. So you're going to be, right now, you're going to work in the groups and you're going to be doing uh, this one that is five and this one that is six. Pages five and six, you see the Titanic sinking? So, all right, I'm going to make the groups. For the moment, we are only eight, okay? Well, including me. So that means that we're going to make only three groups, okay? Only three. Okay. Yeah, supposedly we are like about 14 but not everybody comes early. So, and that is a situation because, okay. Nothing to do. Yeah. All right. 
So now we are nine. Okay, we are nine, including me. So it means that we are <laughs> eight in reality. Okay, so six people are missing. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to uh, give you the share, the sharing options. I'm opening them. So I'm going to create it. No, I say share. Let's see. What I want who is the group. Let me see. Three groups will be okay. We are not too many for too much. So three groups, the groups are open. Remember, five and six, pages five and six. Only Lisette is missing two. Okay. pantalla si quiere. Sí, por favor. Ahorita regalamos un segundo. Hola, ¿pueden ver la pantalla? Sí. Sí. La podemos ver. La pongo la Ahí está. Y este está la cama de desarrollar. Sí. Ok. In this exercise. Uh, in this exercise, we have to. Um, pair the sentences for example in the first one new year's day is a day when um, people yeah. have parties with families and friends okay Okay, in this case, number six, February is the month when people express their love to someone. Yes. In the second, uh, April, April Fool's Day is a day when people sometimes play tricks on friends. May Uh, in this case, uh, number four. Ah, uh, number four. We have to match. Oh, okay. For example, Monday is the day when it's more difficult to start. Yes. Seven um, 
May um, 1st is the day? When we celebrate Labor Day. Yes. Um, Christmas Day. Is the day when celebrated Jesus Christ's birth. Yes. Um, uh, 100, no. What 100 is? 2000, 4092. No, 2000, 492 was the year when Chris Columbo discovered America. Uh, my dear senoritas, you read the, the dates, the years, you read them in pairs. 1492, like over here, 1980, 1928, 1912. Okay, 90, 2022. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Uh, for, for me is when Chris Columbo discovered America. Mm. What do you think? Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> uh, next Sunday will be the day. Um, when we are supposed to sleep well, no. Uh, maybe when we celebrate or oh, celebrate friendship or uh, when We'll have the meeting. Hmm. What do you think? Um, next Sunday will be will be the day. So, or Sunday. Mm, yes, that is May first. When we celebrate Labor Day. Yes, correct. So, number three, Christmas is the day um, when we celebrate Jesus Christ's birth. So, and number four, One thousand four hundred ninety-two was the year. Yeah. I don't know. My dear, my dear. <laughs> this Columbus when Chris Columbus discovered America. <laughs> you read the numbers in pairs. Fourteen ninety-two. Okay. Uh, Fourteen ninety-two. Okay. Nineteen eighty. Nineteen twenty-eight. Okay. That is when it's a uh, year. year, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, the number one. Uh, number five, next Sunday will be the day. Um, when we are supposed to work, on Sunday? Next Sunday? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. When we mm. supposed to sleep well, I think. I think and we have to meet him. Can be a any day. <laughs> uh, the thing I don't know is this when John Lennon was killed. Okay. I didn't know that, that uh, date. <laughs> mm. 
so the next Sunday, I don't think it's supposed to work. I think the, the, the number nine for that word, the day is the time when we are supposed to work. Yeah. And the night is the time when we have to sleep well, right? Uh, when we are supposed to sleep well. So I live next morning with the day when we'll have to meet. Uh, in the month, we celebrate Independence Day. And like when we celebrate our day. Mm -hmm. Christmas yeah. is the day. Uh, when we celebrate Jesus Christ's birth. Yes. February 14 is the date when we celebrate friendship. But there is a 14. 22 was the year for for in order in order the the sentences is the for the next right uh yes but i don't know what is the answer if you know yes when chase columbus discovered america ah, okay mm -hmm. next uh, Yes, yes. Five. Next Sunday will be the day. Next Sunday. Mm, I don't know. Hola. Okay. You finish? Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, finish. Yeah, very good. So we're going to go back to the main groups. Okay. Bye. Teacher, good night, good evening. Can, can you hear me? Good evening, Miguelito. We can hear you. Okay, thank you. I just testing my microphone. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. It's okay. <clears throat> okay, ladies and gentlemen, now that everybody's out, let's do this one. I'm going to say one half and you tell me the, the complement. New Year's a day when people have parties with families and friends. Okay, yes. So let's say, <clears throat> all right. April Fool's Day is a day when people sometimes play trick on friends. Exactly. Very good. May and June are the month when? Many young adults choose to get married. Hmm. Is possible? People in many countries honor workers, honor workers. Uh, this is supposed to be like this. 
And uh, Valentine's Day is a day when? Uh, people express their love to someone. Express their love to someone. Please share the number three. The number three is the C option. Three is C. Yes. Okay. Because, because the carnival, yeah. carnival, the carnival yeah. is in February. Okay. Labor Labor Day is a day when people in many countries are not workers. On our workers. Okay. People in many countries celebrate workers. Okay, we'll see, we'll see in a moment. February is the month. Where is the Brazilian celebrate carnival? In February. Yes. yes. Not in late February or late February, early March. Or early March. February or early March. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I found in the internet that it said May or June. Mm -hmm. No, right? No. no. In an in an audio in an audio in the platform. It says, it's a, it says it's in February. Okay. okay. Late February or early March. Is the Italian carnival. Okay, let's correct that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then May and June are the months when many many young adults just to get married because it's the best month on um, North America. Best, uh -huh. it's when the weather is not Yes, it's the best weather. The best weather, okay, that's right. Okay, excellent, thank you very much. Over here is December, right? December is yeah. the best mm -hmm. month for getting married. Uh, all right, yeah, you're right. Thank you, thank you very much. Now the next one. How do we match this? Monday is a day. Monday is a day. Uh, the when, day. when it's more when difficult it's to start. More, when it's more difficult to start. More <laughs> difficult. Yeah. Okay, we're going to use only one color. Now, May is the day. May 1st is the day. When we celebrate Labor Day. Labor Day. Day. Labor Day. Labor Day. Labor Day. Day. Yes. Christmas. Labor. Christmas is. When we celebrate Jesus Christ's birthday. When we celebrate Jesus Christ's birthday. Christ's birthday. Okay. Christ's birthday. 1492 was the year. When Christ Columbus when Christ discovered Columbus America. 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 When Chris Columbus discovered America. Yes, correct. Next Sunday will be the day when we will have to meeting. When we will have the meeting. Have the meeting. Yes, we will have the meeting. Okay. September is the month when we celebrate, we celebrate Independence Day. When we celebrate Independence Day. Independence Day. Correct. Fourteenth date. When we celebrate when we friendship. friendship, we celebrate friendship. The night is the time when we are supposed to sleep well. We we're supposed to. Sleep well. Okay. The day is the time when we're supposed to work. We're supposed to work. We're supposed to work. Nineteen eighty was a year. When John Lennon was killed. <laughs> John Lennon was killed. Yes. Okie dokie. 1928 was a year. When Alexander Fleming discovered <laughs> penicillin. When Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin. Penicillin. Yeah, it's true that there were two uh, Swedish doctors, well, in laboratories, and who created the vaccine in 1941, but the discovery was in 1928. So by 1950, it was famous all around the world, okay? So let's see. 
in some textbooks it says in 1950, but it's not, it's 1928. Now, 1912 was the year. When the Titanic sank in the Atlantic Ocean. Yes, when the Titanic sank in the Atlantic Ocean. April 15th to April 15th, because it took several hours for it to sink. One, two, because it was close, like Michael Jackson says, it was close to midnight, right? It was close to midnight. So it was close to midnight when the Titanic was sinking. And then, uh, it finished sinking in the early morning, well, in the early dawn of the 16th of April. So imagine in the freezing waters of the Atlantic. So, all right, so this is this. Okay, now, how can we make sentences Original sentences saying, uh huh. Was the when you can say nineteen mm -hmm, was the year when I was born, okay, or you can say Sunday was the day when I started school, ah, school, Sunday school, right? So, okay. Okay, volunteers. Last Saturday was the day when I celebrated my birthday. Ah, okay, congratulations. <laughs> volunteers. Friday was the... Me. Yes, please tell me. Uh, Monday was the day when we started the course. Yes, Monday was the day when we started the course. Last Monday. Mm -hmm. Last Monday. Yeah. Excellent. Another one. The Friday was... Me teacher. November 5 was the day when I met my soulmate. I'm sorry. Yeah, very good. Nice. Okay, another one. February 9th. Was the day when my daughter was born? When your daughter was born. Okay. Was born. Important date. Okay. Yes. Another one. <clears throat> September 11th was the day when the Twin Towers fell down. Yeah. <clears throat> September 11th, mm -hmm. 2001. Mm -hmm. Yes, excellent. That's why 9-11. Mm -hmm. That's why it's 9-11. <clears throat> okay. 2011 was the year when I came back from the USA. Excellent, very good, nice. Another one? Okay, thank you very much. Let's move on. <clears throat> okay, exercise two, wedding, wedding day, wedding day. The purpose is to discuss celebrations. Do you remember your wedding day? The ones who are married, do you remember your wedding day? I'm single. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah. You are single, right? Yeah. Okay. 
I don't want to remember. <laughs> oh, it was so bad. It was so bad that you don't want to remember. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to remember. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. Who wants to remember? And the question says, who wants to remember? <laughs> no, no, no. No, not who wants to remember. No, who wants to remember? Okay, see that nobody wants to remember. Okay, so what things do you, do you think happen during a wedding day? What happens during a wedding day? What happened? What happens during the ceremony of a wedding? There are your families and friends. Okay, your family and friends join you in the event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what else? People give uh, presents to the uh, people give gifts or presents to okay Brian in Brian and room in room yeah it's true everybody is wearing everybody are wearing elegant clothes everybody wears elegant clothes yes mm -hmm. that's true what else that day everyone was happy. Every every everybody is happy on that day. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. There is music and dancing on that day. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Yes. Very good. The men give the woman a diamond ring. Yes. The man gives the woman. The, a poma stone ring. Ah, no. <laughs> a poma, a pomis, pomis stone ring, no. No, if you have money, you give a diamond ring. But if you don't have money, a gold ring, at least a gold ring. Yes, okay. Excellent. Let's continue. All right, listen and practice. We're going to be practicing this diet. <clears throat> This conversation is between Jill and uh, Emiko. Jill and Emiko, I don't know if it's Emiko or Emiko, but I think it's Emiko. <clears throat> okay, because of the stress in Japanese. But hey, let me see. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. <clears throat> That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. So the bride and groom sell presents. <laughs> sell the presents and the guests buy the present. <laughs> okay, so that is <clears throat> a little funny, right? So, all right, this is the wedding. Let me see. We're going to practice this conversation in the group as we are. So only that the group is too big, I mean, too numerous for the practice. So I prefer if there are just three in each. <clears throat> okay, let me see if I can make the groups only with three. No, but there are four, right? Only two groups have five. That's okay. Take turns practicing the conversation.
Okay. <clears throat> I have three people that haven't joined. <laughs> right. Maria Yala Rivas and Wendy Lopez. Siete. Dios. Ay. Grupo público, ¿no dice? Los que, los que alcancemos. Entonces, en orden alfabético nos bueno. vamos. Sería Angélica y yo. Ah, ok. Sí, vale. démosle. Bien, ¿Quién es yo usted? Es yo. Ah, pues yo soy Emiko. Ok. Your wedding. Your Your wedding picture are really beautiful, Emiko. Así se dice. Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> Emiko, yes. Así <laughs> dijo el teacher. Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Uh, What are reception like in Japan? There is a big dinner and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Okay. Okay, now I can be Jill. Ay, Miko. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your wedding picture is really beautiful, Miko. Thank you. To speak to you were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine, uh, when people get married in Japan. They sometimes have a ceremony and shrine. Oh, that's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, also only, only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So what a reception like in Japan? There's a big diner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It's really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. Excellent. <laughs> and now, who's the next? Uh, and I, will, I will be Jill. Dimiko, mm. may I be Dimiko? Okay, me. <laughs> oh, you, Cecilia. Okay. Uh, your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Okay, me. Thank you. Okay. Those, those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At the shrine. When people get married in Japan, they something have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. 
were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony, but after work, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It it really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. They were the guests get presents. Yes and the guests give money to the bride and groom. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's interesting. Number three. And Julia, it's your turn. I am going to be Jill. Yes. Okay. Uh, your wedding picture are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a train. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a train. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But as a word, we had a reaction with family and friends. So what are reception like in Japan? There is a big dinner and after the food is served, that gets good speech or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then before the guest lead, the bride and groom get the present. The guest get present? Yes, and the guest get money to the bride and groom. Okay. We try again, Miguel. Excellent, we finish, right? Yes. Then we move. Let's let's roll. Now that everybody's out, let's continue. Yes, you're right. The pronunciation is emiko. Mm -hmm. Emiko. And means smiling woman. Oh. Smiling woman. Emiko. 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 Okay. All right. Imagine only Miko is smiling. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> so, emiko. emiko. Okay. Let's see. Number three. Pronunciation, stress and rhythm, stress and rhythm. Listen and practice. Notice how stress words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences and then practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The presents usually give, sorry, the guests usually give money to the bride and groom. So after the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give, give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay, one volunteer to read the four sentences. 
I'm going to mark the when I say the four sentences, which ones I'm referring to. Okay. So. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> All right, please be my guest. These are the four sentences. All okay. right. Yes. Uh, after the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give, the, give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Excellent, thank you very much. Okay, somebody, somebody else? Okay, me? Yes, please, go ahead. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay, thank you very much. Somebody else? Hey, teacher. All right, go ahead, my friend, please go ahead. When people get married in Japan, how the how the ceremony at a shrine. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the room, give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. One more person. Me. Thank you. Go ahead, please, Julio. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the ceremony, there is a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Excellent. Thank you, thank you very much. Now let's move to the next, to the next one. The last, the last thing. Okay, uh, adverb clauses of time. Uh, the adverb clauses of time are the ones that begin with when, while, okay, or until, as soon as, and et cetera. So this one, the one that is after, all of this is the clause, all of this, right? All of this is the one that is the, the adverb clause, right? Okay, when she called, when my daughter fell asleep, when you come to visit, while I was finishing my homework, Okay, as I was finishing my homework and uh, until he finished his homework and until you finish. So the sentences go more like, Maria was talking on the phone when some of her friends arrived at the party. She was walking down the lane while he was working on his programs. Mirna was able to wash the dishes while her baby was sleeping. We can have lunch when you are done with your homework. He was talking on the phone when I arrived. When she called, he had already eaten lunch. I washed the dishes when my daughter fell asleep. We'll go to lunch when you come to visit. She began cooking while I was finishing my homework. As I was finishing my homework, she began cooking. She waited until he finished his homework, or we waited until he finished his homework. I'll wait until you finish. Okay, we're going to divide this into two groups. There's going to be one group here. It's going to be another group here. Who wants to read the first group? We're going to call this group A. And this is going to be called B. All right. 
volunteer for A. Uh, me. Yes, please, go ahead. Okay. Maria was talking on the phone when some of her, her friends arrived at the party. She was walking down the lane while he was working on his programs. Mirna was able to wash the dishes while her baby was sleeping. We can have lunch when you are done with your homework. He was talking on the phone when I arrived. When she called, he had already eaten lunch. Excellent, thank you very much. Someone for B? Me teacher. Yes, please, go ahead. I wash the dishes when my daughter fell asleep. We'll go to lunch when you come to visit. She began cooking while I was finishing my homework. As I was finishing my homework, she began cooking. We waited until he finished his homework. I'll wait until you finish. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, these are the examples. Okay. Let's move to the exercise. Adverbial clauses, okay, this is the last, the last thing. Adverbial clauses of time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches and sing or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Now you have to match these sentences, match these six sentences to these items, okay? So before a man and woman get married, they usually what? They usually date each other for about a year. Excellent. They usually date each other for about a year. Okay, in groups continue matching the others. So let's go and go. Okay, so match that part. Hola. Hola. Hello. Eric, lo volvemos a molestar. Ahora, puede compartir su pantalla. Con gusto. ¿Lo ve? Yes, we can see it. Sí. Yes. The man often gives a woman diamond ring. Yes. Okay. <laughs> right after the cup we get St. Jacob, they usually uh, begin to plan the wedding. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when a woman gets married, her family usually. Pay for the wedding. Peace, yes. And reception. When people are invited to a wedding, they almost always give the bride the and the groom a gift or some <laughs> money. <laughs> money. <laughs> yes. Right after a couple gets married, they usually go on short track. Honeymoon. Begin to play. Being to play the yeah. wedding or no? No, 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 no. It's no. right after a couple of age. It's going with the F. They engage, so they begin to plan the wedding. Yes, yes. And number four, when a woman gets married, her family usually uh, pay for the wedding and reception. 
is a eight. So we can try the number five. Is letter D. D. When people are invited to a wedding, they almost always give the bride and groom a gift for also, some money. Yes. So the only one left is right after a couple get married, they usually go on a short trip called a honeymoon. <laughs> uh, see. Complete the same in the A part with your own information. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. We have, uh, when before a man and woman get married, they usually date each other for about a year. Date each other for about a year. So that's letter E. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put E. Um, when a couple gets engaged, the man often. Let us see. Let us see, right? Give, yes, let us see. Give the bride and groom. No. Uh, give the woman a diamond give ring. Give the woman a diamond ring. Diamond ring. Right after a couple gets engaged, they usually. Give the woman a diamond ring. No, right after is begin to plan the wedding. Ah, okay. begin to plan the wedding. Yes, F K. When a woman gets married, her family usually literal A pays for the wedding and reception. Pays for the wedding and reception. When people are invited to a wedding, they almost always give the a gift of some money. Mm -hmm. D. D. Right after a couple gets married, they usually a literal B. Go on a short trip, call it a honeymoon. Okay, okie dokie. Well, my dear, today we studied uh, adverb clauses, adjective clauses with when and adverb clauses of time. So we're going to be finishing here today and I will be seeing you tomorrow, okay? Okay, Thank see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank okay. you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Take care.